Pearl follows the titular character in a prequel story decades before the events of X and learning about the origins of Pearl's erratic persona. She is a young woman with lofty dreams of becoming a star but clashes in the face of a dull life in the country, being governed by her ruthless mother. Pearl is married to Howard who has gone off to fight in the war and whose lack of presence makes the girl feel lonelier than ever. She spends her days tending to the animals, preparing meals and going into town for supplies. Occasionally, she takes detours to go to the movie theatres where she is impressed by the wonderful spectacles of the early films and history, dreaming of being a dancer and touring the entire country doing what she loves. However, things will get complicated when family tension erupts with confrontations with her mother without her father interfering as he is paralysed in a wheelchair. Pearl will take a more psychopathic attitude and will not let anyone restrict her dreams, not even those who can help her move forward faster and better. With a dark and bittersweet ending, this sequel prequel manages to create a charismatic character that will descend into madness, making us better understand her attitude during the events that will take place years later in X. Perhaps the strongest point of Pearl is its stellar acting. Mia Goth returns for director T. West's trilogy, this time stealing the lead role instead of only being half of the film as in X. Her performance goes so far as to not only convince the audiences of Mia Goth's acting chops, but many are commenting online how it's even Academy Award worthy, watching a girl fall into the grips of madness until a credit scene as extended as it is dramatic. It may not be the same supernatural effect of Freddy Krueger or the indestructibility of Michael Myers, but Pearl as a movie villain becomes as iconic as Dorothy in her own The Yellow Brick Road. This time, the actress's full repertoire is on display, and the rest of the cast is no slouch, complementing it masterfully in a tribute to the golden age of cinema, taking clear inspirations from The Wizard of Oz or Mary Poppins. In Pearl, there is no predominance of monsters or dark entities, only the human mind after being repressed for so long, unleashing and freeing itself to fulfil its greatest fantasies. Smile Dr. Rose Cotter works in a psychiatric ward where she is often stressed by the heavy workload she can encounter. One day, she receives a young girl patient named Laura Weaver, who is brought in after spotting a teacher taking his own life while smiling. According to her, during their encounter, Laura is paranoid to the point of desperation, asking Rose to listen to her as she has a bigger problem than anyone can realise. She claims to see a spectre that takes the form of people she knows and smiles grotesquely at her, scaring her everywhere since watching her teacher. At first, she labels it a case of schizophrenia, but things get complicated when Rose witnesses Laura violently taking her own life while smiling disturbingly. Rose now gets a strange condition that causes her to repeat the same pattern as Laura, seeing a similar entity smiling at her from a distance. As time progresses, Rose begins to detach from reality, not knowing what things are happening for real and what is not, complicating her relationship with her partner and her family. She will be assisted by her ex, a police detective who will help her investigate and understand that this new condition is not just a mental trick, but a series of curses that have been passed from person to person all following the same cycle. She will have to solve the riddle in order to eliminate her sinister smile disease before it's too late, and perhaps the solution may leave more than one of them harmed. Being the surprise horror hit of 2022, Smile was a step forward in dark entertainment, even if the plot may seem cliché and formulaic. Similar to the presence of Final Destination, The Ring, or It Follows, this movie is an entertaining macabre game that will make its protagonists make daring decisions, and at times will play with the viewer's reality in more than one scene raw and unfiltered sequences with an erratic and terrifying final confrontation from the hand of an unparalleled entity. Smile deserves to have earned more than 10 times its initial budget at the box office. Even if it didn't quite please the critics, who called it unoriginal and falling into many of the genre's conventions, it's still a solid addition to the long line of paranormal thrillers, although it's unknown if there will be sequels in the future. Considering that it earned almost 200 million at the box office against an initial budget of 17 million, it is likely that the smiling entities will be seen in theatres again very soon. Piggy Sarah is an overweight girl working on a butcher house who has to endure the taunts of her bullies in the countryside of Spain. She is often teased as Piggy and even singled out on social media against her will. However, things take a turn one day when, after receiving exaggerated harassment from her bullies, Sarah manages to observe how they are kidnapped by an unknown figure who appears friendly to her. The figure is a man of few words who will be posing a threat to the community, but always in order to help Sarah with her self-esteem issues. The man goes overboard with helping the young girl, and Sarah is morally conflicted about whether or not to talk about what is going on around her. On one hand, she can't bear the guilt of knowing what is going on with her bully's disappearances, but on the other, she feels that this is the first time she can have an intimate connection with someone else, maybe her only opportunity for it. The story will take a dark thriller turn, with Sarah discovering the fate of her tormentors and wanting to sort it all out before it's too late, perhaps with irreparable consequences. Its strong and shocking denouement will make anyone's hair stand on end, and even if someone manages to get the ending right, you can't help but admit that it's still graphic enough to put the icing on the cake of a great production. Of all the titles on the list, Piggy is the one with the most social component, as it criticises the current fat phobia lived in the world. 
With tough performances, the cast exposes an emotional and frustrating script, which from the first seconds of the film you want the protagonist to win at any cost, only without knowing what her final goal will be. Although some behaviours of the antagonist in the story may seem cartoonish or even exaggerated, the burden of conscience or the motives they possess to commit their acts are not far from real life. A film that feels real until the very last second and shows to the inexperienced the kind of takes that international cinema can deliver on horror. With reviews praising Laura Galan's performance as Sarah and her commitment to providing effective social commentary in ways through a character that may become iconic among female horror figures, her character was even compared to the hero's journey found in Carrie, as an evolution during teenage years. By the end, the viewer can be in a state of peace and stillness, even if surrounded by a bizarre and dark aura of what they have just seen. Terrifier 2 Following the horrid event of Terrifier, the diabolical Art the Clown is resurrected by a dark and unknown entity to once again cause a terrifying night of terror. Now Art's mind is being haunted by a sinister clown girl similar to him who urges him to destroy everyone around him, choosing particular victims as usual. This time it's siblings Sienna and Jonathan Shaw who are still suffering from the loss of their father to a brain tumour. The siblings begin to have strange visions of Art who appears to them both in dreams and real life, generating negative reactions to those around them and with many taking them for crazy, mixing realities with extremely high consequences. Meanwhile, Art remains the same concept of unleashing his incomprehensible rage on the Shaw family acquaintances. Sienna is obsessed with creating the perfect Halloween costume based on her father's comic concept art, not realising that the sword in her costume will be linked to Art's weak point. In addition to disgusting confrontations, family conflicts and a presence that only raises questions, Terrifier continues to stay true to everything seen before, even improving on its own formula. Dreams, gasoline, resurrections from the morgue, clown girls, children's shows, lots of fire and comic book heroes are just some of the elements of this title. The film is a high note compared to its straightforward and linear first part, generating rave reviews thanks to its special effects and lead characters. Viewers discussed and came to the conclusion that Terrifier 2 actually surpasses its predecessor in every single aspect, from acting to script to horror and supernatural elements. David Howard Thornton's performance remains a menacing presence and a new horror classic alongside the likes of Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger, perhaps with a more creative twist on art's modus operandi. In addition, the story expands the mythology of this manic and enigmatic character, giving him sequentiality until the very last scene. It remains unknown if the characters in this film will return, but Art will undoubtedly remain an icon of contemporary slasher horror for a long time to come. It still remains an entertaining option for entertaining nights out and B-horror lovers. Its director has even commented on the possibility of making not only a Terrifier 3, but a fourth instalment if necessary, which would explore the background of the clown and his reasons for committing such crimes, a key element that has remained absent during the first two instalments. Barbarian in the world of house booking, you never know what you might get. Tess Marshall decides to book a small residence in Brightmoor, Detroit for a job interview, appearing in the middle of a dark, rainy night. There, she discovers that the residence has been double booked by a guy named Keith, who assures her that he also rented the place completely legally but on another platform. Tess is nervous about Keith's presence while he tries his best to make her feel at ease, even showing a little attraction to her. As they spend the night together, they become intimate to the point where they feel comfortable enough to talk to each other more deeply. They discover that they might have some things in common and decide to sleep, but are approached in the night by some strange noises and movements in the house. The next day, during her job interview, Tess discovers that the place she is staying at is actually an abandoned and dangerous neighbourhood, with Keith nowhere in sight. Tess discovers a secret hatch in the basement that leads to a dark and mysterious catacomb. When Keith shows up, she decides to go investigate the basement, finding something so disturbing that it will be impossible to understand. The story also involves some plot breaks to expose other characters that will be vital to the main plot, such as AJ Gilbride, an actor who is in the middle of a scandal and will be looking for a quiet place to stay, arriving at the same place as Tess and Keith. Although its credits include the likes of Justin Long, Bill Skarsgård and Georgina Campbell, the success of Barbarian was impressive and was considered a sleeper hit, earning up to 11 times its original budget at the box office. The mysterious and eerie tone of the first part of the film leaves no one indifferent, even managing to go so far as to think that it will not be the typical story of masked men or juvenile delinquents, and ends up being something much, much worse. The sinister atmosphere and the humorous and well-achieved cuts make the film the most interesting experience, even for an ending that goes according to what one knows about the genre with a small and sad twist. 
Likewise, the film talks about Hollywood allegations and accusations, mid-century lifestyles, modern residential rentals, and even one-night stands, making emphasis about relationships with strangers, teaching to trust no one. Barbarian is not a story that can spawn sequels and spin-offs, but it is a solid enough product to be crowned as the best of horror offerings in 2022. Some of these movies may reach a potential sequel, but without a doubt 2022 was a step in the right direction when it came to horror, relying not only on massive sagas, but with some fresh takes on old ideas. The recovery of a somehow forgiven genre goes along with the new voices of directors like T. West or Zack Greger. Will this be the renewal of the whole horror system? The only sure thing is that while waiting for the answer, we should keep windows closed and a light always on. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.